Individual contributors to classical liberalism and political liberalism are associated with philosophers of the Enlightenment. Liberalism as a specifically named ideology begins in the late 18th century as a movement towards self-government and away from aristocracy. It included the ideas of self-determination, the primacy of the individual and the nation, as opposed to the state and religion, as being the fundamental units of law, politics and economy. Since then liberalism has broadened to include a wide range of approaches from Americans Ronald Dworkin, Richard Rorty, John Rawls and Francis Fukuyama as well as the Indian Amartya Sen and the Peruvian Hernando de Soto. Some of these people moved away from liberalism, while others espoused other ideologies before turning to liberalism. There are many different views of what constitutes liberalism, and some liberals would feel that some of the people on this list were not true liberals. It is intended to be suggestive rather than exhaustive. Theorists whose ideas were mainly typical for one country should be listed in that country's section of liberalism worldwide. Generally only thinkers are listed, politicians are only listed when they, beside their active political work, also made substantial contributions to liberal theory. Topic. Classical contributors to liberalism Topic. Aristotle Aristotle Athens, 384-322 BC, is revered among political theorists for his seminal work politics. He made invaluable contributions to liberal theory through his observations on different forms of government and the nature of man. He begins with the idea that the best government provides an active and happy life for its people. Aristotle then considers six forms of government, monarchy, aristocracy, and polity on one side as good forms of government, and tyranny, oligarchy, and democracy as bad forms. Considering each in turn, Aristotle rejects monarchy as infantilizing of citizens, oligarchy as too profit-motivated, tyranny as against the will of the people, democracy as serving only to the poor, and aristocracy known today as meritocracy as ideal but ultimately impossible. Aristotle finally concludes that a polity, a combination between democracy and oligarchy, where most can vote but must choose among the rich and virtuous for governors, is the best compromise between idealism and realism. In addition, Aristotle was a firm supporter of private property. He refuted Plato's argument for a collectivist society in which family and property are held in common. Aristotle makes the argument that when one's own son or land is rightfully one's own, one puts much more effort into cultivating that item, to the ultimate betterment of society. He references barbarian tribes of his time in which property was held in common, and the laziest of the bunch would always take away large amounts of food grown by the most diligent. Humanism Niccolò Machiavelli Niccolò Machiavelli Florence, 1469 best known for his Il Principe was the founder of realist political philosophy, advocated republican government, citizen armies, division of power, protection of personal property, and restraint of government expenditure as being necessary to the liberties of a republic. He wrote extensively on the need for individual initiative—virtue as an essential characteristic of stable government. He argued that liberty was the central good which government should protect, and that good people would make good laws, whereas people who had lost their virtue could maintain their liberties only with difficulty. His discourses on Livy outlined realism as the central idea of political study and favored republics over principalities. Anti-statist liberals consider Machiavelli's distrust as his main message, noting his call for a strong state under a strong leader, who should use any means to establish his position, whereas liberalism is an ideology of individual freedom and voluntary choices. Contributing literature Il Principe, 1513 The Prince, 1 Discorsi sopra la prima deca di Tito Livio, 1512-1517 Discourse on the first decade of Titus Livius Topic. Desiderius Erasmus Desiderius Erasmus Netherlands, 1466 was an advocate of humanism, critic of entrenched interests, irrationality and superstition. Erasmusian societies formed across Europe, to some extent in response to the turbulence of the Reformation. 
In his De libero arbitrio diatribe sive collatio 1524, he analyzes the Lutheran exaggeration of the obvious limitations on human freedom. Contributing literature Stultitiae Laus, 1509 The Praise of Folly, 2 De libero arbitrio diatribe sive collatio, 1524 Topic. Thomas Hobbes Thomas Hobbes England, 1588 theorized that government is the result of individual actions and human traits, and that it was motivated primarily by «interest», a term which would become crucial in the development of a liberal theory of government and political economy, since it is the foundation of the idea that individuals can be self-governing and self-regulating. His work Leviathan, did not advocate this viewpoint, but instead that only a strong government could restrain unchecked interest, it did, however, advance a proto-liberal position in arguing for an inalienable right of nature, the right to defend oneself, even against the state. Though his own ideological position is open to debate, his work influenced Locke, Hamilton, Jefferson, Madison and many other liberals, leading Strauss to identify Hobbes as the father of liberalism. Contributing literature Leviathan, 1651, Theologico-Political Treatise Topic. Baruch Spinoza Baruch Spinoza Netherlands, 1632 is in his Tractatus Theologico-Politicus and Tractatus Politicus a proto-liberal defending the value of separation of church and state as well as forms of democracy. In the first mentioned book, Spinoza expresses an early criticism of religious intolerance and a defense of secular government. Spinoza was a thoroughgoing determinist who held that absolutely everything that happens occurs through the operation of necessity. For him, even human behavior is fully determined, freedom being our capacity to know we are determined and to understand why we act as we do. So freedom is not the possibility to say, no, to what happens to us but the possibility to say, yes and fully understand why things should necessarily happen that way. Contributing Literature, Tractatus Theologico-Politicus, 1670 Theologico-Political Treatise, 3 Tractatus Politicus, 1677 Political Treatise Topic from Locke to Mill Topic John Locke John Locke's England, 1632-1704 Notion that a government with the consent of the governed and man's natural rights, life, liberty, and estate property as well on tolerance, as laid down in a letter concerning toleration and two treatises of government, had an enormous influence on the development of liberalism. Developed a theory of property resting on the actions of individuals, rather than on dissent or nobility. Some literature, A Letter Concerning Toleration, 1689 4, The Second Treatise of Civil Government, 1689 5, Topic John Trenkard John Trenkard United Kingdom, 1662-1723 was co-author, with Thomas Gordon of Cato's Letters. These newspaper essays condemned tyranny and advanced principles of freedom of conscience and freedom of speech and were a main vehicle for spreading the concepts that had been developed by John Locke. Some literature, Cato's Letters, John Trenkard and Thomas Gordon, 1720-1723 Topic Charles de Montesquieu Charles de Montesquieu France, 1689-1755 In the spirit of the laws, Montesquieu expounded the separation of powers in government and society. In government, Montesquieu encouraged division into the now standard legislative, judicial and executive branches. In society, he perceived a natural organization into king, the people and the aristocracy, with the latter playing a mediating role. I do not write to censor that which is established in any country whatsoever, Montesquieu disclaimed in the laws, however, he did pay special attention to what he felt was the positive example of the constitutional system in England, which in spite of its evolution toward a fusion of powers, had moderated the power of the monarch, and divided Parliament along class lines. Montesquieu's work had a seminal impact on the American and French revolutionaries. Ironically, the least liberal element of his thought, his privileging of the aristocracy, was belied by both revolutions. Montesquieu's system came to fruition in America, a country with no aristocracy. In France, political maneuvering by the aristocracy led to the convocation of the 1789 Estates General and Popular Revolt. 
Some literature, De l'Esprit des Lois, 1748, The Spirit of the Laws, 6, Encyclopédie, Au Dictionnaire Raisonné des Sciences, des Arts et des Métiers, together with others, 1751 to 1772, Encyclopédia, or Reasoned Dictionary of the Sciences, Arts and Trades, 7. Topic: Thomas Gordon, Thomas Gordon, United Kingdom, 169 minus 1750, was co-author with John Trenkard of Cato's Letters. These newspaper essays condemned tyranny and advanced principles of freedom of conscience and freedom of speech and were a main vehicle for spreading the concepts that had been developed by John Locke. Some literature, Cato's Letters, John Trenkard and Thomas Gordon, 1720-1723 François Canet François Canet France, 1694-1774 Some literature, Tableau économique, 1758 Encyclopédie, Au Dictionnaire raisonné des sciences, des arts et des métiers together with others, 1751-1772 Encyclopédia, or Reasoned Dictionary of the Sciences, Arts, and Trades 8 topic Voltaire Voltaire France, 1694 to 1778. Some literature, Lettre philosophique sur les Anglais, 1734. Philosophical Letters on the English Encyclopédie, Au Dictionnaire raisonné des sciences, des arts et des métiers, together with others, 1751 to 1772. Encyclopédia or Reasoned Dictionary of the Sciences, Arts and Trades. Nine. Essay sur la histoire générale et sur les mots et l'esprit des nations, 1756. Essay on the manner and spirit of nations and on the principal occurrences in history Traité sur la tolérance à l'occasion de la mort de Jean Calas, 1763 Treatise on toleration in connection with the death of Jean Calas Dictionnaire philosophique, 1764 Philosophical dictionary Topic Jean-Jacques Rousseau Jean-Jacques Rousseau Switzerland, 1712-1778 Some literature, Discourse on inequality, 1755 On the social contract, 1762 Topic Denis Diderot Denis Diderot France 1713 to 1784 Some literature Encyclopédie Au Dictionnaire raisonné des sciences des arts et des métiers together with others 1751 to 1772 Encyclopédia or Reasoned Dictionary of the Sciences Arts and Trades 10 Topic Jean Le Rond d'Alembert Jean Le Rond d'Alembert France 1717 to 1783 Some literature Encyclopédie Au Dictionnaire raisonné des sciences des des Arts et des Métiers together with others, 1751 to 1772 Encyclopedia, or Reasoned Dictionary of the Sciences, Arts, and Trades 11 topic Richard Price Richard Price United Kingdom, 1723 to 1791 Some literature, Appeal to the Public on the Subject of the National Debt, 1771 Observations on Reversionary Payments, 1771 Observations on Civil Liberty and the Justice and Policy of the War with America, 1771 Six topic Anders Chidinius Anders Chidinius Finland then a part of the Swedish realm 1729 to 1803 his book Den Nationale Winston E N G L the National Gain proposed roughly same the ideas as Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations a decade earlier including foundations of liberalism and capitalism and roughly the invisible hand. He demanded complete economic and individual freedom, including the freedom of religion although he was a priest, workers' rights to freely move and choose their professions and employers, the freedom of speech and trade and abolitions of all privileges and price and wage controls. He was also a member of the Swedish Four Estates Parliament, elected three times as representative of the clergy in the northern and western parts of Finland. In his first parliamentary session, 1765-1766, he was very successful as a member of the subcommittee that wrote Sweden's famous constitutional law of the freedom of printing, Trickfreiheitsförordningen, of 1766. In this law Chidinius combined freedom of the press, and abolishment of the political censorship, with free access for the citizens to most government documents. Chidinius' liberal system, where transparency reinforces press freedom, and the right for everyone to print the public document reinforces transparency, has been a fundamental constitutional principle in Sweden ever since, except for the years of royal autocracy 1772-1809. Chidinius' model for press freedom and freedom of information was re-established and strengthened in the Swedish constitution 1809. It is now the foundation of the present Trickfreiheitsförordningen of 1949, which is one of the fundamental laws of Sweden. 
in diluted form, and without the strong constitutional protection of the Swedish free press model, the principle of free access to public documents that originated in Chidinius Law of 1766, has in recent decades been spread from Sweden to the Freedom of Information Acts of many countries. This way, Anders Chidinius, has become one of the older liberal thinkers that has most practical influence on politics and public administration of modern Western societies. An edition of Anders Chidinius' complete works, in Finnish, Swedish and English, is under preparation by the Chidinius Foundation in Finland. Some literature Amerikanska Nafverbatar, 1753 American Birchbark Canoes Kallen till Ricketts 1 Magt, 1765 The Cause of the Weakness of the Kingdom Den National Winston, 1765 The National Gain, 12 Topic. Adam Smith Adam Smith Great Britain, 1723–1790, often considered the founder of modern economics, was a key figure in formulating and advancing economic doctrine of free trade and competition. In his Wealth of Nations Adam Smith outlined the key idea that if the economy is basically left to its own devices, limited and finite resources will be put to ultimately their most efficient use through people acting purely in their self-interest. This concept has been quoted out of context by later economists as the invisible hand of the market. Smith also advanced property rights and personal civil liberties, including stopping slavery, which today partly form the basic liberal ideology. He was also opposed to stock holding companies, what today is called a corporation, because he predicated the self-policing of the free market upon the free association of moral individuals. Some literature An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations, 1776 13. The Theory of Moral Sentiments, 1759 Immanuel Kant Immanuel Kant, Germany, 1724 to 1804. Some literature. Grundlegung zur Metaphysik der Sitten, 1785. Fundamental Principles of the Metaphysic of Morals, 14. Kritik der Praktischen Vernunft, 1788. Critique of Practical Reason, 15. Über den Gemeinsprüch, Das Mag in der Theorie Richtig sein, Taut aber nicht für die Praxis, 1793 On the common saying, this may be true in theory but it does not apply in practice Zum Eugen Frieden, 1795 Perpetual Peace, 16 Metaphysik der Sitten, 1797 Metaphysics of Morals, 17 Anne Robert Jacques Turgot Anne Robert Jacques Turgot, France, 1727 to 1781. Some literature. Le Conciliateur, 1754. Lettre sur la tolérance civile, 1754. Reflections sur la formation et la distribution des richesses, 1766. Lettre sur la liberté du commerce des grains, 1770. Topic. Joseph Priestley Joseph Priestley United Kingdom United States 1733 to 1804 Some literature Essay on the First Principles of Government 1768 The Present State of Liberty in Great Britain and Her Colonies 1769 Remarks on Dr Blackstone's Commentaries 1769 Observations on Civil Liberty and the Nature and Justice of the War with America, 1772 Topic. August Ludwig von Schlözer August Ludwig von Schlözer Germany, 1735–1809 Patrick Henry Patrick Henry United States 1736 to 1799 Some literature Liberty or Death 1775 18 Topic Thomas Paine Thomas Paine United Kingdom United States 1737 to 1809 
Some literature Rights of Man, 1791–92 Agrarian Justice, 1797 Topic. Thomas Jefferson Thomas Jefferson United States, 1743 was the third President of the United States and author of the Declaration of Independence. He also wrote notes on the State of Virginia and the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom. He was a champion of inalienable individual rights and the separation of church and state. His ideas were repeated in many other liberal revolutions around the world, including the early French Revolution. Topic: <laughs> Marquis de Condorcet. Marquis de Condorcet, France, 1743 to 1794. Some literature. Esquisse d'un tableau historique des progrès de l'esprit humain, 1795 Sketch for a historical picture of the progress of the human mind <laughs> Jeremy Bentham Jeremy Bentham United Kingdom, 1748 An early advocate of utilitarianism, animal welfare and women's rights. He had many students all around the world, including John Stuart Mill and several political leaders. Bentham demanded economic and individual freedom, including the separation of the state and church, freedom of expression, completely equal rights for women, the end of slavery and colonialism, uniform democracy, the abolition of physical punishment, also on children, the right for divorce, free prices, free trade and no restrictions on interest. Bentham was not a libertarian, he supported inheritance tax, restrictions on monopoly power, pensions, health insurance and other social security, but called for prudence and careful consideration in any such governmental intervention. Emmanuel <laughs> Sillas Emmanuel Joseph Sillas France, 1748 played an important role in the opening years of the French Revolution, drafting the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, expanding on the theory of national sovereignty, popular sovereignty, and representation implied in his pamphlet What is the Third Estate? <laughs> Antoine d'Estat de Tracy Antoine d'Estat de Tracy (1754–1836). Anne Louise Germain de Stael. Anne Louise Germain de Stael, France, 1766–1817. Some literature. De l'influence des passions sur le bonheur des individus et des nations, 1796. Des circonstances actuelles qui puvent terminer la révolution et des principes qui doivent fonder la république en France, 1798. Considerations sur les principaux événements de la révolution française, 1813. Apple aux souverains réunis à Paris pour en obtenir l'abolition de la traite des Negres, 1814. Topic. Benjamin Constant. Benjamin Constant, France, 1767 to 1830. Some literature. De l'esprit de conquête et l'usurpation, on the spirit of conquest and on usurpation, 1814. Principes de politique, principles of politics, 1815. The liberty of ancients compared with that of moderns, 1816. Topic. Jean Baptiste Say. Jean Baptiste Say, France, 1767 to 1832. Some literature. Traité d'économie politique, Treatise on Political Economy, 1803. Topic. Wilhelm von Humboldt. Wilhelm von Humboldt, Germany, 1767 to 1835. Some literature. Idin zu einem Versich, die Grenzen der Werk Samkat des Staats zu Bestimmen on the limits of state action, 1792. There Humboldt wrote. 
A state seeking to provide for more than the physical safety of the citizens will inevitably destroy the freedom and the creativity of the individuals. Topic: <laughs> David Ricardo. David Ricardo, United Kingdom, 1772 to 1823. Topic: James Mill. James Mill, United Kingdom, 1773 to 1836. Some literature. Elements of political economy, 1821. Topic: Antoine Elise Cherbuliez. Antoine Elise Cherbuliez, Switzerland, 1797 to 1869. Topic. Frederick Bastiat Frederick Bastiat France 1801 to 1850 Claude Frederick Bastiat was a French classical liberal theorist political economist and member of the French Assembly He was notable for developing the important economic concept of opportunity cost Some literature La LOI The Law 1849 Harmonies Economiques Economic Harmonies, 1850 C.E. Con Voigt et C.E. Con Ne Voigt Pas What is Seen and What is Not Seen, 1850 Topic. Rifa al-Tatawi Rifa al-Tatawi Egypt, 1801-1873 Rifa al-Tatawi, also spelt Tatawi, was an Egyptian writer, teacher, translator, Egyptologist, Renaissance intellectual, and one of the early adapters to Islamic modernism. In 1831, Tatawi was part of the statewide effort to modernize the Egyptian infrastructure and education. Three of his published volumes were works of political and moral philosophy. They introduced his Egyptian audience to Enlightenment ideas such as secular authority and political rights and liberty, his ideas regarding how a modern civilized society ought to be and what constituted by extension a civilized or good Egyptian, and his ideas on public interest and public good. Tatawi's work was the first effort in what became an Egyptian Renaissance nada that flourished in the years between 1860-1940. Works a Paris Profile, written during Tatawi's stay in France. The Methodology of Egyptians' Minds with Regard to the Marvels of Modern Literature, published in 1869 crystallizing Tatawi's opinions on modernization. The Honest Guide for Education of Girls and Boys, published in 1873 and reflecting the main precepts of Tatawi's educational thoughts. Tafik al Ghalil Insights into Egypt's and Ismail descendants' History, the first part of the History Encyclopedia published in 1868 and tracing the history of ancient Egypt till the dawn of Islam. A thorough summary of the biography of Muhammad published after Tatawi's death, recording a comprehensive account of the life of Prophet Muhammad and the political, legal, and administrative foundations of the first Islamic state. Towards a Simpler Arabic Grammar, published in 1869. Grammatical Sentences, published in 1863. Egyptian Patriotic Lyrics, written in praise of Khedive Said and published in 1855. The Luminous Stars in the Moonlit Nights of Al Aziz, a collection of congratulatory writings to some princes, published in 1872. <laughs> <laughs> Johann Rudolf Thorbeck The Dutch statesman Johan Rudolf Thorbeck Netherlands, 1798 was the main theorist of Dutch liberalism in the 19th century, outlining a more democratic alternative to the absolute monarchy, the constitutional monarchy. The Constitution of 1848 was mainly his work. His main theoretical article specifically labeled as liberal was over het hedendagsche staatsburgerschap on modern citizenship from 1844. He became Prime Minister in 1849, thus starting numerous fundamental reforms in Dutch politics. Harriet Martineau Harriet Martineau United Kingdom, 1802-1876 Some literature Illustrations of Political Economy, 1832-1834 
Theory and Practice of Society in America, 1837 The Martyr Age of the United States, 1839 Ralph Waldo Emerson Ralph Waldo Emerson United States, 1803 was an American philosopher who argued that the basic principles of government were mutable, and that government is required only insofar as people are not self-governing. Proponent of democracy, and of the idea that a democratic people must have a democratic ethics. Some literature Self-reliance Circles Politics The nominalist and the realist Topic. Alexis de Tocqueville Alexis de Tocqueville France, 1805 Some literature De la démocratie en Amérique, 1831–1840 Democracy in America, 20 L'Anxion Régime et la Révolution, 1856 topic. William Lloyd Garrison William Lloyd Garrison United States 1805 to 1879 Some literature Articles advocating abolition of slavery in the newspaper The Liberator 1831 to 1866 Topic Friedrich Schiller Friedrich Schiller Germany 1759 to 1805 Topic. Mill and further For the development of American liberalism after World War II see American liberal theory. American liberal theorists who also had influence on liberalism outside the United States are included in this section. Topic. John Stuart Mill John Stuart Mill United Kingdom, 1806 is one of the first champions of modern «liberalism». As such, his work on political economy and logic helped lay the foundation for advancements in empirical science and public policy based on verifiable improvements. Strongly influenced by Bentham's utilitarianism, he disagrees with Kant's intuitive notion of right and formulates the «highest normative principle» of morals as Actions are right in proportion as they tend to promote happiness, wrong as they tend to produce the reverse of happiness. Some consider Mill as the founder of social liberalism. Although Mill was mainly for free markets, he accepted interventions in the economy, such as a tax on alcohol, if there were sufficient utilitarian grounds. Mill was also a champion of women's rights. Some literature Considerations on Representative Government, 1862-21 on Liberty, 1868 22. Socialism, 1879 Topic. Juan Bautista Alberti Juan Bautista Alberti Argentina, 1810 Some literature Bases y puntos de partida para la organización política de la República Argentina Bases and points of departure for the political organization of the Argentine Republic, 1852 Sistema económico y rentístico de la Confederación Argentina, según su Constitución de 1853 Economic and rentistic system of the Argentine Confederation, according to its 1853 Constitution, 1854 Topic. Henry David Thoreau Henry David Thoreau 1817 Some literature Civil disobedience Walden Topic. Jacob Burkhardt Jacob Burckhardt Switzerland, 1818 state as derived from cultural and economic life Some literature The Civilization of the Renaissance in Italy Topic. Herbert Spencer 
Herbert Spencer, United Kingdom, 1820 to 1903, philosopher, psychologist, and sociologist, advanced what he called the law of equal liberty and argued against liberal theory promoting more activist government, which he dubbed a new form of Toryism. Quote, he supported a state limited in its duties to the defense of persons and their property. For Spencer, voluntary cooperation was the hallmark of the most vibrant form of society, accommodating the widest diversity of members and the greatest diversity of goals. Spencer's evolutionary approach has been characterized as an extension of Adam Smith's invisible hand explanation of economic order. His extensive work on sympathy in psychology as well as the foundation of ethics, particularly in the data of ethics, explicitly carried on Smith's approach in the theory of moral sentiments. Spencer is frequently characterized as a leading social Darwinist. Some literature Social Statics, 1851 Principles of Ethics, 1879-1892 The Man vs. the State, 1884 Essays, Scientific, Political and Speculative, 1892 Ibrahim Sanasi Ibrahim Sanasi, Ottoman Empire, 1826-1871, author, journalist, translator, and newspaper editor. He was the innovator of several fields, he wrote one of the earliest examples of an Ottoman play, he encouraged the trend of translating poetry from French into Turkish, he simplified the script used for writing the Ottoman Turkish language, and he was one of the first of the Ottoman writers to write specifically for the broader public. Sanasi used his newspapers, Turkoman i Aval and Tasvir i Efkar, to promote the proliferation of European Enlightenment ideals during the Tanzimat period, and he made the education of the literate Ottoman public his personal vocation. Though many of Sanasi's projects were incomplete at the time of his death, he was at the forefront of a number of fields and put his stamp on the development of each field so long as it contained unsolved problems. Sanasi, influenced by Enlightenment thought, saw freedom of expression as a fundamental right and used journalism in order to engage, communicate with, and educate the public. By speaking directly to the public about government affairs, Sanasi declared that state actions were not solely the interest of the government. Works Terkam i Manzum 1859, translation of poems from the French of La Fontaine, Lamartine, Gilbert, and Racine, Ser Evelyn Meshi, 1859, the first Ottoman play, The Wedding of a Poet. Durub i Emsil i Osmaniya, 1863, the first book of Turkish proverbs. Muntahabit i Sr, 1863, collection of poems. Topic. Thomas Hill Green. Thomas Hill Green, United Kingdom, 1836 to 1882. Topic. Oberon Herbert Oberon Herbert United Kingdom, 1838–1906 Carl Menger Carl Menger Austria, 1840–1921 Some literature Grundsatz der Volkswirtschaftsler Principles of Economics, 1871 Untersuchungen über die Methode der Sozialwissenschaften und der Politischen Ökonomie Inspessendier Investigations into the Method of the Social Sciences, with special reference to economics, 1883 Irrthumer des Historismus in der Deutschen Nationalökonomie The Errors of Historicism in German Economics, 1884 Zur Theorie des Kapitals The Theory of Capital, 1888 William Graham Sumner William Graham Sumner United States 1840 to 1910 Some literature Socialism 1878 The argument against protective tariffs 1881 Protective taxes and wages 1883 The absurd effort to make the world over 1883 State interference 1887 Protectionism, the ism which teaches that waste makes wealth, 1887 The Forgotten Man, and Other Essays, 1917 
Topic: Lester Frank Ward. Lester Frank Ward, United States, 1841 to 1913. Lester Ward was a botanist, paleontologist, and sociologist. He served as the first president of the American Sociological Association. Ward was a fierce and unrelenting critic of the laissez-faire policies advocated by Herbert Spencer and William Graham Sumner. Some literature 1883 Dynamic sociology, or applied social science is based upon statical sociology and the less complex sciences. 1893 The Psychic Factors of Civilization, 1893 1903 Pure Sociology. A Treatise on the Origin and Spontaneous Development of Society. 1906 Applied Sociology. A Treatise on the Conscious Improvement of Society by Society. Ward's major works can be found here. 24 Topic. Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr. Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. United States 1841 to 1935 was a jurist and writer. He wrote the influential book on legal theory The Common Law, which traced the creation of individual rights from familial rights common under Roman and feudal law and presented the objective theory of judicial interpretation, specifically that the standard for intent and culpability should be that of the reasonable man and that individuals can be said to objectively intend the reasonable consequences of their actions. Topic. Lujo Brentano Ludwig Joseph Brentano, Germany, 1844–1931 Tomas Masaryk Tomas Garig Masaryk, Czechoslovakia, 1850 to 1937. Topic: Eugen von Bohm-Bawerk. Eugen von Bohm-Bawerk, Austria, 1851 to 1914. Some literature. Capital und Kapitalzins, Capital and Interest, in three volumes, 1884, 1889, and 1909. Die Positive Theorie des Capitals, The Positive Theory of Capital and Its Critics, in three volumes, 1895 and 1896. Zoom Absolus des Marxkan Systems, Karl Marx and the Close of His System, 1898. Topic: Louis Brandeis. Louis Brandeis, 1856 to 1941. Topic. Thorstein Veblen Thorstein Veblen is best known as the author of Theory of the Leisure Class. Veblen was influential to a generation of American liberalism searching for a rational basis for the economy beyond corporate consolidation and cut-throat competition. Veblen's central argument was that individuals require sufficient non-economic time to become educated citizens. He caustically attacked pure material consumption for its own sake, and the idea that utility equaled conspicuous consumption. Topic. John Dewey John Dewey United States, 1859-1952 Some literature Liberalism and Social Action, 1935 Democracy and Education, 25 Topic. Friedrich Naumann Friedrich Naumann Germany, 1860–1919 Santeri Alkio Santeri Alkio Finland, 1862–1930 Max Weber Max Weber Germany, 1864 to 1920, was a theorist of state power and the relationship of culture to economics. Argued that there was a moral component to capitalism rooted in Protestant values. Weber was along with Friedrich Naumann active in the National Social Union and later in the German Democratic Party. Some literature 
Die Protestantische Ethik und der Geist des Kapitalismus, 1904, The Protestant Ethic and the Spirit of Capitalism, 26. Topic. Leonard Hobhouse. Leonard Trelawney Hobhouse, United Kingdom, 1864 to 1929. Some literature. Liberalism, 1911, 27. Topic. Benedetto Croce. Benedetto Croce, Italy, 1866 to 1952. Some literature. Che cosa e il liberalismo, 1943. Topic. Walther Rathenau. Walther Rathenau, Germany, 1867 to 1922. Topic. Sir Leo Chioza Money Leo Chioza Money Britain, 1870–1944 An Italian-born economic theorist who moved to Britain in the 1890s, where he made his name as a politician, journalist and author. In the early years of the 20th century his views attracted the interest of two future prime ministers, David Lloyd George and Winston Churchill. After a spell as Lloyd George's parliamentary private secretary, he was a government minister in the latter stages of the First World War. Topic: <laughs> Ahmed Lutfi El Sayed. Ahmed Lutfi El Sayed Pasha, Egypt, 1872 to 1963. An Egyptian intellectual, anti-colonial activist and the first director of Cairo University. He was an influential person in the Egyptian nationalist movement and used his position in the media to strive and gain an independent Egypt from British rule. He was also one of the architects of modern Egyptian nationalism as well as the architect of Egyptian secularism and liberalism. He was fondly known as the Professor of the Generation. Lutfi was one of the fiercest opponents of Pan-Arabism, insisting that Egyptians are Egyptians and not Arabs. He is considered one of the most influential scholars and intellectuals in the history of Egypt. Topic: <inaudible> William Beveridge. William Beveridge, United Kingdom, 1879 to 1963. Some literature. Full Employment in a Free Society, 1944. Why I am a Liberal, 1945. Topic. Ludwig von Mises Ludwig von Mises Austria, United States, 1881–1973 Some literature Socialism, 1922 Liberalism, 1927 Omnipotent Government, 1944 Human Action, 1949 Jose Ortega y Gasset Jose Ortega y Gasset Spain, 1883-1955 Some literature La Rebellion de las Masas The Rebellion of the Masses, 1930 <laughs> Salvador de Madariaga Salvador de Madariaga, Spain, 1886 to 1978. One of the principal authors of the Oxford Manifesto in 1947. Topic: Adolf Burl. Adolf Burl, United States, 1895 to 1971, was author of The Modern Corporation and Private Property, detailing the importance of differentiating between the management of corporations and the shareholders who are the owners. Influential in the theory of New Deal policy. Some literature with Gardiner means. The Modern Corporation and Private Property. Topic: Wilhelm Röpke. Wilhelm Röpke, Germany, 1899 to 1966. Some literature. International Economic Disintegration, 1942. The Social Crisis of Our Time, 1942. Civitas Humana, 1944. 
International Order and Economic Integration, 1945 The Solution of the German Problem, 1946 Topic. Bertil Olin Bertil Olin Sweden, 1899 Some Literature Interregional and International Trade, 1933 Topic. Friedrich Hayek Friedrich Hayek, Austria, United Kingdom, United States, Germany, 1899 to 1992. In Hayek's view, the central role of the state should be to maintain the rule of law with as little arbitrary intervention as possible. Also a Nobel Prize winner in economics and predictor of the Great Depression like fellow Austrian school economist and mentor Ludwig von Mises. Some literature. The Road to Serfdom, 1944, 28. The Constitution of Liberty, 1960 Law, Legislation and Liberty, in three volumes, 1973, 1976 and 1979 Topic. Karl Popper Karl Raymond Popper Austria, United Kingdom, 1902 developed the idea of the open society, characterized by respect for a wide variety of opinions and behaviors and a preference for audacious but piecemeal political reform over either conservative stasis or revolutionary utopianism. In his view, all simplistic and grandiose theories of history and society shared a common feature he called historicism, which he traces back to Plato, while the open society mirrors the methodological fallibilism pioneered by Popper in his earlier works on philosophy of science. Some literature The Open Society and Its Enemies, 1945 The Poverty of Historicism, 1961 Topic. Alan Patton Alan Patton South Africa, 1903 contributed with his book Cry, the Beloved Country to a clear anti-apartheid stand of South African liberalism. His party, the Liberal Party of South Africa was banned by the apartheid government. Some literature Cry, the Beloved Country, 1948 Ah, But Your Land is Beautiful, 1983 Topic. Raymond Aron Raymond Aron France, 1905-1983 Some Literature Essays sur les libertés, 1965 Démocratie et totalitarisme, 1965 Topic. Donald Barclay Moltino Donald Barclay Moltino, South Africa, 1908 to 1972, known as Dilazintaba, he who removes mountains, was a constitutional lawyer and a parliamentarian, but above all, an academic. His work on constitutional law centered on civil rights and his fierce opposition to the segregationalist policies of apartheid. Topic: John Kenneth Galbraith. John Kenneth Galbraith, Canadian-born economist who worked in the United States, 1908 to 2006. Some literature. The Affluent Society, 1958. The Liberal Hour, 1960. Topic. Isaiah Berlin. Isaiah Berlin, Latvia, United Kingdom, 1909 to 1997, is most famous for his attempt to distinguish two conceptions of liberty. Berlin argued that what he called positive and negative liberty were mutually opposing concepts. Positive conceptions assumed that liberty could only be achieved when collective power, in the form of church or state, acted to liberate mankind from its worst aspects. These Berlin felt tended towards totalitarianism. Negative conceptions, by contrast, argued that liberty was achieved when individuals were given maximal freedom from external constraints so long as these did not impinge on the freedom of others to achieve the same condition. Berlin was also a critic of dogmatic Enlightenment rationalism on the grounds that it was unable to accommodate value pluralism. Some literature Two Concepts of Liberty, 1958 Four Essays on Liberty, 1969 
From Hope and Fear Set Free, 1978 Topic. Milton Friedman Milton Friedman United States, 1912 winner of a Nobel Prize in Economics and a self-identified classical liberal and libertarian, was known for the Friedman Rule, Friedman's K% percent Rule, and the Friedman Test. Some Literature, Capitalism and Freedom, 1962 A Monetary History of the United States, 1963 Free to Choose, 1980 Topic James Buchanan James Buchanan United States, 1919-2013 is known for his economic theories of the political process, which were among the first to take seriously the concept of politicians as rational actors that respond to incentives. Some Literature, The Calculus of Consent, James Buchanan and Gordon Tulloch, 1962 The Limits of Liberty, 1975 Democracy in Deficit, James Buchanan and Richard E. Wagner, 1977 The Power to Tax, James Buchanan and Jeffrey Brennan, 1980 The Reason of Rules, James Buchanan and Jeffrey Brennan, 1985 Topic John Rawls John Rawls United States, 1921-2002 is widely considered one of the most important English-language political philosophers of the 20th century. There is general agreement that the publication of his landmark work, A Theory of Justice, led to a revival in the academic study of political philosophy. The importance of this book in contemporary liberal thought and social contract theory is perhaps best described by an early libertarian rival and critic, Robert Nozick, who called it a work in political and moral philosophy that has not seen its equal since the writings of John Stuart Mill, if then. Political philosophers must now work within Rawls' theory or explain why not. Nozick, Anarchy, State, and Utopia, p. 183. Some of Rawls's contributions include the ideas of justice as fairness, the original position, reflective equilibrium, overlapping consensus, public reason, and the veil of ignorance. Rawls has the distinction among contemporary political philosophers of being frequently cited by the courts of law in the United States and referred to by practicing politicians in the United Kingdom. Some Literature, A Theory of Justice, 1971 Political Liberalism, 1996 The Law of Peoples, 1999 Justice as Fairness, a Restatement, 2001 Topic Murray Newton Rothbard Murray Rothbard United States, 1926 to 1995 was the originator of modern anarcho-capitalism and an economist and economic historian of the Austrian school. He is widely considered one of the foremost advocates of liberty and freedom in the late 20th century. He was involved with various political movements throughout his life, notably with Ayn Rand and, later, the Libertarian Party of United States. His influence is lasting in the libertarian and anarcho-capitalist movements. Man, Economy, and State, 1962 For a New Liberty, The Libertarian Manifesto, 1973 Conceived in Liberty, 1975-1979 the Ethics of Liberty, 1982 An Austrian Perspective on the History of Economic Thought, 1995 <inaudible> <inaudible> Ralph Dahrendorf Ralph Dahrendorf Germany, United Kingdom, 1929-2009 Some Literature Die Chanson der Kreis, über die Zukunft des Liberalismus, 1983 Fragmente eines neuen Liberalismus, 1987. Topic: Carl Hermann Flach. The journalist Carl Hermann Flach, Germany, 1929 to 1973, was in his book Nach einer Chance für die Liberalen one of the main theorists of the new social liberal principles of the Free Democratic Party, Germany. He places liberalism clearly as the opposite of conservatism and opened the road for a government coalition with the Social Democrats. Topic. Joseph Raz Joseph Raz United Kingdom. Some Literature The Morality of Freedom Topic. Ronald Dworkin Ronald Dworkin, United States, 1931 to 2013. Some literature. Sovereign virtue: the theory and practice of equality. Justice for hedgehogs. Topic. Richard Rorty. 
Richard Rorty United States, 1931 was one of the leading contemporary philosophers of liberalism. His fundamental claims, among others, are that liberalism is best defined as the attempt to avoid cruelty to others, that liberals need to accept the historical irony that there is no metaphysical justification for their belief that not being cruel is a virtue, that literature plays a crucial role in developing the empathy necessary to promote solidarity and therefore lack of cruelty between humans, and that private philosophizing and public political discourse are separate practices and should remain so. Topic. Amartya Sen Amartya Sen India, 1933, is an economist whose early work was based on Kenneth Arrow's general possibility theorem, and on the impossibility of both complete Pareto optimality and solely procedural-based rights. Won the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences for his work on famine, welfare economics and social choice theory. Advocate of rationality as the fundamental safeguard of freedom and justice. Some literature Development as freedom The argumentative Indian topic. Robert Nozick Robert Nozick United States, 1938 was a libertarian or minarchist. He advocated an unapologetically reductionist political philosophy characterized by meticulous analysis of the moral aspects of each social interaction, and did not shy away from addressing hard philosophical issues such as the original appropriation of property. Nozick is best known for providing the justification of a minimal state by showing that it can be established without any unjust steps. Some literature Anarchy, State, and Utopia, 1974 Topic. Hernando de Soto The economist Hernando de Soto Peru, 1941, is an advocate of transparency and private property rights, arguing that intransparent government leads to property not being given proper title, and therefore being dead capital, which cannot be used as the basis of credit argues that laws which allocate property to those most able to use them for economic growth, so-called squatters' rights are an important innovation. Some literature The Other Path, 1986 The Mystery of Capital, 2000 Topic. Carlos Santiago Nino Carlos Santiago Nino Argentina, 1943-1993 Some literature The Ethics of Human Rights Topic. Bruce Ackerman Bruce Ackerman United States, 1943 Some literature We, the people Topic. Will Kimlicka Will Kimlicka Canada, 1962 tries in his philosophy to determine if forms of ethnic or minority nationalism are compatible with liberal democratic principles of individual freedom, social equality and political democracy. In his book Multicultural Citizenship. A liberal theory of minority rights he argues that certain group differentiated rights of minority cultures can be consistent with these liberal democratic principles. Topic. Footnotes <laughs>